Welcome everybody, George Stanley here with another Builder interview on Bitcoin Cash. Today I'm here with Team BitSigno, who uh, made a really interesting uh, product uh, for uh, the Coin Party Hackathon that just recently ended. So we have Carl, Slavomir, Camille. Welcome guys, how are you all doing? X. Excellent. Yeah, no, my pleasure. Always great to welcome new builders on uh, Bitcoin Cash. So, um, uh, Slavomir, can you tell us a little bit about uh, your team, Bit uh, Signal, and um, where you guys are from? You know, just the kind of basic stuff. Yeah, well, so basically, I've uh, heard about Coin Party at uh, Reddit, actually. You've seen uh, the the ideas topic, and uh, I've had this idea for quite quite some time uh, with me, and you know decided to post it there. Maybe you know someone would try to work on it, and then I've decided to join the BU uh, Slack channel to see if anyone is interested, and that's how I. Uh, actually found my team we didn't you know I didn't know them before and it's it, it, it's actually quite a good team I'm I, I'm really happy I feel like blessed <laughs> to have uh, to have met them and uh, you know got them to work on uh, on my app especially because you know I feel like they're as a developer they're like quite uh, quite better and uh, more advanced than I am uh, okay. so Cool. Generally, okay. cool. So, yeah. So, Carl, what role? Tell us about yourself and what role you play on the team. Uh, no problem, George. Um, I got involved with the uh, uh, project through uh, the, the the Dev Post Hackathon um, submission. Um, I'm interested in blockchain, uh, especially um, just in general. The, 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 the Finance aspect of it and, and, and decentralization. Um, I, I think that's going to be a huge um, aspect of um, I suppose the globe going forward, and, and um, I feel it's got a lot of potential. Um, with the, the application itself, I um, reached out to Slavomir, um, saw the project, thought it sounded really cool. Um, I was, as I mentioned, looking to, to develop my own skills, so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to, to learn and to um, gain an understanding and knowledge of uh, Bitcoin Cash. Um, I previous Prior to this, I, I, I was mining um, back in 2016, 2017, so I was always looking for a way to get involved in the community. Um, and I've been developing now for the last little while. Um, and the, the, the fact that Slavomir's um, idea was to get vendors involved and, and create a method for giving rewards um, based on purchases um, and an incentive to use Bitcoin Cash, um, I found that to be a, a, a very scalable project, um, if not only interesting to um, ourselves. I think it's got a wider, wider use case in the um, global, global uh, Cool. Okay. So Camille, how did you get involved uh, with Team BitSignal? I was looking over some of the project posts as well, and this particular project caught my interest um, because it's scalable and it also gives the opportunity for new participants in the crypto market. So I thought that it was a really good idea and worth pursuing. Um, I have a little bit of experience working with Bitcoin um, back when it first came out. Um, however, I hadn't done too much since then. So I had some time to familiarize with my, myself with, um, as we were starting the project, I wanted to familiarize myself with some of the libraries, some of the tools that were available and then um, go into key generation, store it, um, wallets, um, stuff like that, working on the database end of things. Cool, cool. So, uh, Slavomir, uh, your, the app was, uh, during the hackathon was called Marzipan, right? But you guys have changed the name. Uh, but just, I mentioned it so that, you know, people who did follow the, uh, hackathon can key, can, uh, you know, associate the two. But uh, tell, tell us about the app. What does it do? What, what's it all about? Well, it's uh, basically a loyalty tokens uh, app. 
uh, it's meant both, of course, for merchants and for users. Uh, when I got to this idea, I mean, like, it's not a revolutionary idea, but uh, when I got to it, I, I wasn't aware that there were actually a couple of projects already that uh, tried doing the same thing. Uh, one actually won a SLP hackathon. Uh, it's called Hamingya, but I don't see that they kept developing it. Uh, and the other one was actually launched. Uh, I think it was Honey honey something uh, but I honey also points, you know, I see it or something like that yeah 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 something like that I don't know if they went with uh, ABC or what they still have this org uh, link uh, but I, as far as I know it's not working so Pretty sure they gave up you know sure they gave up. yeah might be though, though, though as it seemed like they had a lot they, they also in, had an integra integration with uh, square or something Oh, well, anyways, uh, the idea is like, of course, as every loyalty app to give people uh, incentive, you know, and, you know, the this feeling of collecting loyalty points when, uh, you know, frequenting some vendors and merchants and so on. Uh, and, you know, make it fun as if you have it on mobile app and you can see a bunch of merchants on this on the same app, like, and you get tokens for it. So I, I was also thinking of uh, how to make it um, not too, like, not to seem too crypto related, as if, you, you know, people are usually scared of using cryptocurrencies. I remember when I first got in. Uh, there was no Bitcoin Cash then, uh, and you know, using Bitcoin, I was like, I didn't like sending it. I didn't like doing anything with it. Uh, the fees were already a bit high back then, and uh, you know, I felt it's complicated. So I, I wanted to, you know people to be aware that they are using something like crypto uh, based on cryptocurrencies, but you know have fun with it and you know let it be simple both for merchants and for users and of course it, it doesn't have anything to do with bitcoin cash itself but i wanted you know to have an app where uh, merchants and users can both do a lot of stuff and especially merchants can you know customize it any way they like but uh, still have it mm -hmm. like um, be be kind of incentivized to get people to pay in BCH. Uh, we, we were thinking about, we, we of course don't have any business model right now. We're just still learning. Uh, but maybe, you know, part of this business model would be to charge them if people, when people are paying with uh, fiat currency and not, you know, take our part when they're paying with BCH. So it would be incentive for merchants to, to you know, get people, push people to use BCH uh, okay. when, so, know, when paying for their services. Uh huh. So Camille, what, what attracted you to the, this project? Particularly, I liked the idea of being able to make it accessible to a variety of people. Um, the ability to just pull up your phone and access deals from a bunch of different companies without having to have all these cards, you know, business cards or punch cards in your pocket, um, being instantly connected to a bunch of vendors, a bunch of people locally and, you know, internationally as well through this app um, gives much greater accessibility to users. And it's a great tool for vendors who want to market their products or reward uh, loyalty and customers. So I thought that would be um, an excellent idea worth pursuing. Okay. And uh, Carl, what role uh, did you play? Uh, did you do, did you do, you know, like uh, C coding or did you do more uh, UI stuff or? So um, originally, um, I came on to work backend, um, and we got we were working with gRPC, um, and we were also looking at the BCH DPC. A lot of abbreviations, but uh, we were uh, that was my first time working with it. Um, so it was wrapping my head around that aspect of it, and then bringing on the Bitcoin um, 
different cache ch uh, chain as well, integrating that. Connecting them, we use uh, Heroku to deploy, um, and we use MongoDB to um, store user logins um, for registering. Um, then we did a full um, UI re rework um, from um, kind of close to the end. Um, so um, I, I, I put a lot of that aspect together. Camille worked on a lot of the integration of the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. Um, she, she, she understands that quite well. She's gotten her head around that uh, uh, a lot and they would show me a lot for that. Um, and then with regard to further development of the application, um, we are looking at being a, a web wallet and also as the um, a custodial, like I know Slavomir mentioned there about actually taking payments in fiat. So what we were discussing as the business model would be to encourage um, liquidity into BCH in general. What we could do is we could accept payments in fiat, do the conversion ourselves, issue the SLP tokens, and then invoice to the vendor um, for, for um, what's doing BCH for, for the uh, fiat transactions. So it's a way of bringing money into the, 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 the market itself. Um, also then for, for the development, we are... Um, we're, we're currently developing further, and um, so we're, we're, we're planning to enter the next um, coin party um, from the hackathon um, with, with our upgraded product. Um, and um, I think we have a good team, uh, we have a good business model um, we're, we're still working on, um, and we're going to perfect. But um, there is it's the right time, I feel, and it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a good product that we've got. I know with a really good team, we can get right. Cool. So if I understand correctly, the idea is that it will be a basically a wallet, uh, but it's also going to have uh, loyalty point tokens in it that's going to be um, that's going to enable different merchants to create their own tokens. And then, uh, you know, maybe they'll 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 establish a value for those tokens and people can, you know, collect them and maybe trade them. I don't know. Um, and then buy stuff from them. Does that sound? Am I getting the idea, Slavomir, or is there more to it? Or? Yeah, yes, that's it. I was thinking of maybe using like non-tradable tokens, uh, but that that might be a problem in some sense. For instance, we had an idea to also make like a do donation button where you can decide to donate your tokens. Like yeah, most of the cards, loyalty cards that I have, I and I have a bunch of them. I've maybe used uh, used those points on just a couple of them, like the places I really, really frequent, very, like very often. And uh, you know, the vendor was uh, kind enough to remind me, "Oh, you have this much points. Would you use it like right now for something?" So you know, people don't use it, and if they all have it on one app, they can say, "Okay, I'll just you know." put send this small amount you know to basically any charity in the world like you can see there was a tsunami today i don't know in thailand and you're from croatia imagine how much it costs you know to send any money there to help them okay you know you have some intermediaries say in croatia or you know, red cross is you know gathering funds but this way you can like pay for say animal shelter in uh in in nepal or wherever in the world with actual with bch so when uh, there should decide you know okay i have this much tokens and they're worth, worth that much and i can just send that that amount of bch uh right there so that that would be a case for uh, for trading for making these uh, tokens tradable in a way you can just send it people could send them to addresses of these uh, charities. So, yeah, so like... Uh, let me see vendor... if I understood correctly. So you would maybe have like a directory of NGOs or something in the app, and then, you know, if I had like a thousand Chuck E. Cheese tokens, then I could just send them to the NGO? Yeah, that's, that's but right. How, so, how then... would, so what would be the methodology to exchange those? Would you have a, like an SLP to BCH exchange in in the app as well, or how would they ex well, yeah, exit the BCH? That, that that part that part is a bit like complicated in, in a way that it it either has to be like not trustless. You know, you have to trust the vendor that once you know uh, send those tokens to some charity. Chuck E. Cheese really you know will 
will, you know, honor his part of the deal and send that BCH back to them. Or maybe they could oh, trade so you, him some way, but, so this you know, we didn't get that, that far. The, that the issuer of the tokens would would make a market for his own tokens in Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I have a lot of experience with merchants. I would be, I would expect them more to say you could spend it for products, you know, from my store. Yeah, ge generally, yes, I, I think uh, that that's the, that's the main use case. Like they, they are, they can uh, set the price, you know, say you can have uh, this sandwich for say 100 tokens once you get them. And he also decides like I'm handing out to tokens at this rate, yeah, like 1% of the, the bill you make, or uh, if you buy this product, you can get like free tokens, but, but just this particular product for this week, and he's gonna like change it to uh, the next, next one. But I was just, you know, mentioning this as, uh, this as another feature, which, mm -hmm. uh, it, which might be attractive to merchants too, because, you know, bunch of them are trying to be you know how would i say i don't know the 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 that the, that term but you know be socially responsible or something like that you know to actually act towards charities and so on so mm -hmm. yeah, no, because I, uh... some people might be attracted by the fact that you know you you it's also like they could decide if they want to list some uh, ngos or not so, you know, if they list some of, some of them, I would say, okay, I'll, I'm going to that place because, you know, I, part of that is going for a good cause or I can use that for a good cause when, when buying there and, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I, I interviewed the, the Honey Points team actually a couple times and I, I thought they had a very nice uh, product. Um, and they were uh, onboarding some merchants in Tokyo. I just feel like they gave up too soon. You know, they, they put in a lot of work and just basically kind of gave up, which was uh, kind of sad to see because I do think that um, there is a, a, a definitely a market for a product like this. You know, like I, I, I run um, the uh, BCH Latam Bitcoin Cash site. Um, team and you know we have onboarded uh more than a thousand merchants uh, across the developing world and you know i'm i'm very interested to try out a, a an app like this uh with our merchants i think it could uh, be quite interesting uh for them you know because merchants are always interested in new customers and this has the potential to to bring them new customers and also to ha have you know any new ones who get the tokens be be more loyal you know because maybe they want to, they get some tokens and then they want to go back and spend them. You know, they don't want, they don't want to lose the value. So, so, um, so, uh, Carl, were you, you would, you would, you said you had heard of Bitcoin Cash or you did a little bit of mining and stuff. You're looking to get involved. So now, now that you kind of got involved, you know, you did the, the coin party hackathon by Bitcoin Unlimited and whatnot. What was your experience? You know, what were the ups? What were the downs? How do you feel about things now? Great experience. Um, the, the, the group in general, um, not only our, 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 our small group here, but the, the wider community <clears throat> within the Slack, um, really helpful. Um, some really, really nice guys in there and girls. Um, the, the challenges was, was, was definitely around having very little experience I, I, I played around with the IBM open source blockchain just to get an idea you know a little while ago um, and, and got some um, ports to, to talk to each other in the same with the GRPC um, the, the 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 enjoyable part was learning learning about it and kind of seeing the the everyone helping each other out even though you know technically they're in competition with each other but in, in the chat you know if you had any queries people would definitely come back and help or, or point you in the right direction um, the the, the it, it was it was a it was a really enjoyable experience. I, I'm definitely going to be we're, we're, we are definitely going to be taking part in the next um, Bitcoin Unlimited hackathon, and hopefully we'll have a, a more developed and evolved product. And um, we're taking it one step at a time. We're focusing on each aspect of the product and looking to create the best user experience through our development. Um, so so the next is market research. Um, we we need to contact vendors um, locally within our own communities um, and. 
see, see, see what see what needs need to be filled, and um, that's that's um, along with the development, finding out what the market wants. So I think that's um, kind of short term um, plan. Cool. And Camille, were you involved in Bitcoin Cash at all before, and and what was your experience with the hackathon? I hadn't been involved in Bitcoin Cash through programming um, only other cryptocurrencies, so this is my first experience worth working with Bitcoin Cash. It was definitely uh, an immersive experience. You know, you're kind of thrown in there, and there's a lot to learn. There are so many tools, and um, so I was, you know, trying to take advantage of the resources available, um, asking questions of the team when I didn't know um, how to implement a certain thing, and um, just trying to learn as much as possible. So it was, you know, a little scary at first, but also really good being able to um, just get thrown in there and. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what we've done so far. And I think that um, we can really push this to the next level coming up here. Cool, cool. So, um, so Slavomir, what, what do you see as, you know, your, you, the next steps for your project, uh, for the BitSignal project, uh, you know, over say the rest of this year? Well, I was hoping to by to have a, like a functional app by the end of the year. Probably not all the features that we've imagined, but uh, right now we're work, we're 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 working only on a web app. We didn't go mobile yet, though it was my like an initial idea to maybe try f you know, first uh, working on mobile app. But since we're mo more more experienced with web app, we need to get this one working and uh, then we'll just try to port it. Uh, Carl is quite experienced in that, so I guess it won't be much of a problem. So by the end of the year, I would like to, I would be like really happy to have a functional mobile app and also this web application and, uh, you know, would like to start contacting merchants and so on. Again, I'm saying we, we won't have all the features I, I was hoping for that, like that we were planning to have and um, our business model might not be perfect at that moment, but I would like to, I mean, maybe I'm just like, how would I say hyped about it? So I want to go out to try to see it like work in production and uh, to see it, you know, people using it as, as soon as I can, as soon as we can. So. Yeah, I, by the end of the year, I hope we'll have like uh, this uh, uh, make it possible for merchants to make their own, how should they say, like the pricing lists and be able to create tokens to hand them out uh, to their customers, you know, with uh, without many you know, bugs and problems and, you know, people be able to redeem stuff for, for those tokens. And you know that that would be enough to to start with now. Cool, cool. So um, here's a question I ask uh, basically everybody. Um, uh, you know, what do you think that um, Bitcoin Cash can do better? You know, and how, what do you what thoughts do you have about how uh, Bitcoin Cash can can break out a little bit, you know, ha onboard more people, uh, be more attractive to more developers. Uh, Camille, do you have any thoughts on that? I definitely think making, making this accessible includes being able to communicate to newcomers. What is, uh, what are the steps? What are the different components of this? So I think as things progress, a variety of uh, resources will pop up for learning, learning not only how to program, but just how to work with uh, Bitcoin Cash within, uh, you know, a, a commerce environment and also within a trading market environment. Um, but I think BitCash has done a great job of making resources accessible to people so far. And it seems like we have a lot more um, use cases popping up. It took a little bit longer for the adoption of Bitcoin in that manner. 
Okay, cool. Carl, what, do you have any thoughts on that topic? Yeah, I was actually saying to Camille before that I was scared I was going to go off on a tangent with all the uh, things that I would uh, start talking about. Uh, that, that could be done better. But uh, I think that um, user, user experience uh, is the primary focus that, that the whole of the, the, the crypto market should be looking at. Um, the barriers there to getting people involved. Like we, I know we were looking at the SLP tokens and looking to get people to vote for the project. but. If trying to get someone to send you SLP tokens is one thing, but explaining to them the steps they have to take to do it is an, another aspect to it. So trying to get people to actually start using a, a financial means of transactions in a, in a completely way that's alien to them is, is a challenge in itself. Um, so I think that's one issue is, is, is user experience and how to make it the best and most simplest way for a user to, to begin to come into the ecosystem. Then, um, <clears throat> I know it nearly goes against the, the, the privacy nature, but uh, transparency within the market, I think, uh, in some way has to, has to come about before it's accepted as a, within the global financial system. Um, that is far beyond my um, experience or my um, ways of, um, I, I suppose, getting things done. I'm sure there's much more clever and smarter people working on the, 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 the baseline code of Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, but that's just something I feel will need to occur before um, what, what credit adoption um, comes into play. What, what do you mean in, by transparency here? So, I uh, un, un, until, um, I, I, I personally, this is just what, how, how I feel on it, um, it, it it's going to be difficult to, to be accepted within the global financial system as a means to transact unless there is some way or a, a layer of transparency or some way for 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 I'll, I'll use the example of um, uh, um, the, 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 the elections in America the way people can give money um, uh, to, to, to coerce politicians into getting things done on, on, and they can do it under the counter they don't need to they don't need to state to people why they're doing it. They don't need to announce it. Um, so that causes a problem, and that creates corruption and, and, and other problems that go along with that. Um, if you look at India, for example, um, it's completely transparent. It has to be transparent, and, and the Indian government will lay out means that they want to do things by, and so good businesses will get involved with that to keep, I suppose, the ecosystem happy, or the, 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 like, keep things stable. Um, with the, the ultimate privacy, I, 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 I do agree with it, but I just think there's barriers to it um, in, a, in, in, in that sense. So I think the, in, the whole market needs to evolve. I don't know how it's going to happen or in, in what way it's going to happen, but I just feel that that's an evolution that has to occur before it, it, it's widely adopted. So you basically mean like uh, associating public keys with, um, you know, legal identities. Is that, is that what you mean? To an extent, you could do that. That's that's a possibility, definitely. Um, but that takes away the privacy aspect of it uh, to uh, big time. Extent, I suppose, yeah, completely. <laughs> so, so <laughs> it's it's a catch twenty two nearly. Um, I, I don't know how it can be done, but I feel until yeah. that aspect of of um, a, a ways or a means um, to do it, I, 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 I yeah. It's, well, ch chain analysis is working pretty hard on it, but I don't I don't know if they're going to be able to uh, get to that level, you know, uh, because that like I, I for one, I'm I'm not uh, in fan, a fan of that. Like we have cash fusion on Bitcoin Cash also, which, you know, permits, um, you know, the default blockchain gives you pseudonymity, but uh, cash fusion gives you actual anonymity and um yeah, I for one, I'm a big fan of that. It has its pros and its cons, I think, um, definitely. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's just again my my two cents. I, I, I could be wrong, but <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, Slavomir, what 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 was your experience? What do you think we can do better in Bitcoin Cash? Well, I'm actually, I wouldn't say involved since I didn't. Act, do something the way you do it like uh, but you know read, reading reddit and twitter and uh, buying bitcoin cash and trying to use it as much as i can for um, cool you know, basically 
since uh, since it, it's it's it was out there. Not uh, at first, I was one of those like uh, haters, but then just using it, you know, brought me to the BCH side. Uh, nice. So yeah, I like. Um, so I remember the times when remember times when we had less in a way like for this project we used BCHD and I remember when BCHD came out like when it was completely new thing and listening to podcasts with uh, Josh and Chris and you know them talking about why why did they do it and so on and I was also mm -hmm. quite uh, hyped about mainnet cache when uh, the when uh, how the flip started uh, flip starter was there so mm -hmm. i think in that sense it's it's really it's really good and getting better and i i guess there there's really some positive vibe after uh november 15th here and uh, you know i'm quite you know feel feel quite uh, i'm bullish on bch in, in that sense uh what i i guess you know, some some things um, should be considered like uh, getting, bringing uh, bringing BCH closer to regular people. So you know, maybe we should um, use those smaller fractions so people don't you know don't you know don't have to talk in satoshis, but also like somewhere in the middle, and figure out some cool names for that. I mean, not cool, but catchy, something like that. And mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm working in a, I'm actually developer programmer in a core banking uh, software uh, company. So and I'm working on a payment uh, pay payments department. So you know I know these protocols like SEPA, Swift, and so on because you know I have to work with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess the thing with I mean, like the the thing about Bitcoin in general is, you know, you cannot reverse the payments and so on. But I guess mm -hmm. there will we will need some function, some um, intermediaries somewhere sometimes because customers do want that or do need that sometimes. Um, like, but you know, escrows and st stuff like that. I think that can that can serve. Uh, purpose uh, very well and uh, i've seen your interview with andrew stone uh, mm -hmm. i think you know bch has uh, quite the, the quite the you know the good shot with that you know creating something where uh, uh i don't know the word in english but you know like not the physical persons but the, like the the business the business users can feel at home because when when they're unable to you know to send the payment or when it's stuck for whichever reason, and it might be you know the Sepi or Swift is you know refusing his payment for some reason or doing this or that, they 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 really get pissed and also like the bankers they also get pissed at us you know why is this happening help us you know and so on so I think that. BCH has a very good shot right now. You know the way it it's with smart contracts and everything, it, it might get you know be like really good and robust and give that user experience of you know paying something right now and or you know putting money in escrow, and uh, you know you get it when once you know Oracle says it's confirmed or whatever. So. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I I think that BCH should be working on, and once we have once we have that, it will be quite attractive for you know people that actually use it, actually make most of the transactions, and you know uh, move a hu huge amount of value each day. Cool, cool. Okay, well, um, yeah, it's been a really great conversation. It was really good getting to know uh, Team Bit Signal. Uh, really impressive what you guys are working on. So, um, if you guys want to get in any final words or let uh, the audience know where they can find out more about what you guys are doing, follow you wherever, go right ahead. Well, right now we 
still don't have uh, something like social media or whatever. So uh, it's, it's our dev post site, the only resource actually that we have. We didn't open our Git repo yet. It will be open source. So I guess later on uh, when we fix that, you know, people might get us, uh, might find us there. And other than okay, that, so... if anyone if anyone is interested, we are on uh, you know BCH uh, Telegram channels or wherever, so they'll just you know ping for us. Okay, so your dev post is devpost dot com slash software slash marzipan m a r z i p a n, and also Slavomir wrote an article. He's on read dot cash at read dot cash uh, slash at Slavomir. Hopefully, we should have um, all the social media aspects worked out by the end of the next hackathon. So, um, that's that's um, you might have us on again, George, and we can uh, give all the information then. Absolutely, that'd be, that'd be my pleasure. All right, thanks, guys. Let's keep building Bitcoin Cash. Thanks. Bye.